Sweet Home was developed by Capcom and released exclusively on the Famicom in 1989, alongside the Japanese horror film of the same name. The game's director, Tokuro Fujiwara, would later go on to produce Resident Evil, which is strongly influenced by Sweet Home. Sweet Home is a turn-based RPG where you take on the role of a five-person documentary crew that has come to the abandoned mansion of the late Ichiro Mamiya, a famous artist, to document the frescoes left inside. Once they enter the mansion, your party is trapped within by the ghost of a woman who accuses you of trespassing. As you progress through the game, solve puzzles, and try to escape with your lives, the story continues to unfold. As I'm sure you can tell by now, Sweet Home is virtually unplayable without knowing Japanese, which I don't, so I'm going to take the cartridge out of my Famicom and put it into my Retron 5 and use a translation patch that I've downloaded onto my SD card. Press A to open your menu. The party option allows you to switch between which party member you control. Walk up to another party member, open your menu, and choose Team to have that person team up with you. A team will move and face encounters together, and will have access to each item carried by the team. A team can consist of no more than three party members. The team option can also be used to separate the current party member from the rest of a team, or to rescue a party member that is stuck. Your party member's individual inventories are very limited. Each person begins the game with a tool that cannot be exchanged and is essential for progressing through the game, such as the key which opens doors or the lighter and vacuum that remove obstacles. You might be able to finish the game without using the camera, but it's still very useful for finding clues and damaging enemies that are sensitive to light. Additionally, each party member has a weapon slot and two more item slots. To pick up a weapon or item, go to it, open your inventory, and choose the spot you want to put it. Then select the move option. If there's already something there, the two items are exchanged. The only way to tell whether a new weapon is better than what you already have equipped is to press B, choose your party member to view their stats, note their attack power, then equip the new weapon and check their stats again. When your current team is engaged in battle, you can use the call option to enlist the aid of the other team. When activated, control switches to the other team for an undefined limited duration. If you reach a member of the team that called, the new team will join the fray. This is obviously helpful for stronger enemies since you can attack with all five party members instead of just a team of two or three. But it's ultimately useful for any encounter, since each party member will gain experience as opposed to just the current team. There's also an ability called Prey. This is most useful during combat to deal additional damage, and uses prayer points. Unlike most RPGs, there is nowhere your party can rest to regain health and prayer points. Not even leveling up will replenish these. The only way to regain health and prayer points is by using a tonic. Before using a tonic, I recommend entering combat and calling the other team to join you. That way, the entire party will benefit, and not just the active team. There is no reviving fallen party members in this RPG. Once they're dead, they're dead. Worse still, you can't even loot your friend's corpse. But don't despair, each starting tool has its counterpart, so you can use pills in place of kit, or wire in place of key, and so on. You can save the game literally anywhere, and as often as you like. If you get a game over, you'll start from your last save. Or, if you want to go back to your last save, go to quit, then restart. Or if you've just turned the game on, it will take you to your last save straight from the title screen. If you want to start the game over from the beginning, go to quit, then quit, to erase your file and begin anew. Sweet Home is one of the most innovative turn-based RPG video games I have ever played. It also manages to be scary despite the limitations of 8-bit graphics. Most importantly, it is incredibly fun. I give it 5 out of 5 stars and can't wait to play it again. If you've already played it, how well would you rate it? Or if you haven't played it yet, do you intend to? I'd love to read all about it in the comments. And give a special thank you to my brother David for giving me this game, and to thank the rest of you for watching, liking, and sharing this video, as well as for subscribing to my channel.